So what you need to do then is make sure that you and your partners go through this flash animation um, if you haven't already, because I'm expecting you to know all the parts of the um, electrochemical uh, cell, in particular the galvanic cell. All right, and here is just a summary slide of all the parts of the cell that you should be aware of after going through the activity. Um, and here's the terms that you should be aware of. The electrode, those are the conductors that make contact with the contents. Um, the anode is that um, site of oxidation. And the cathode is the word that we refer to as the site of reduction. Um, the salt bridge, of course, is the connector that allows um, the ions to flow to keep the charge balanced in the two half um, cells. And the salt potential is the voltage. Um, sometimes it's abbreviated E. Um, but it's the measure of the ability of the salt reaction to pull the electrons or push and pull the electrons through the circuit. Sometimes it's all called, also called the EMF of the cell. Um, of course, it's measured in volts, and it's difficult to measure accurately, so, you know, um, but we're not going to get too much into that. Just uh, take my word on it. So here's the picture of it um, with everything identified. Um, in this case, we're back to the zinc copper um, uh, cell. The zinc, here's the half reaction for the zinc, here's the half reaction for the copper. When you add them two together, you see that this is the reactant, the oxidation react reactant, and this is the copper reactant, and then these are the products um, of the reaction. So we physically have separated those two reactants so that we can harvest the energy um, as the electrons flow from one uh, part or location physically separated from the other. So. Um, the ions are flowing down, you know, um, through the salt bridge one, one way or the other. And in this case, um, at the anode, I need to tell you also, is always with a negative charge. And the uh, cathode is always indicated with a positive, um, a negative and a positive there. All right, so this is just a really quick review. I just wanted to have it all on one page. So you would know that I expect you to know the anode, anode is the side of the oxidation and whatnot. This is just a review from, from that animation that you just saw. And then one more. A uh, way to look at things, again, further review, uh, for a voltaic or galvanic cell, remember that's a spontaneous um, electrochemical change where you have physically separated the two half reactions. This is um, an atomic view of, the, um, of what's going on. And so you can see the piece of zinc here in the zinc copper um, cell with the, the voltage of 1.1. What happens is when two electrons um, are released from one zinc atom, that zinc is no longer a part of the metal. It, it goes into a solution as a zinc ion. So you can see literally the transfer of electrons from the zinc metal um, through the external circuit back down into the other, into the cathode. This um, piece of, of copper is the cathode. Um, and the electrons will be added to um, one of the copper atoms. And the copper atom then will, excuse me, the electro, electrons will be added to a copper ion. And then um, that copper ion will um, plate out onto the, the piece of copper. And so the piece of copper will actually get bigger as the copper ion moves towards the site where the electrons are and um, is reduced. And here the zinc um, electrode, the anode, will actually get smaller because right at the surface the electrons are moving off of the zinc and the, the individual zinc atoms are, are changing into zinc ions and, and going into solution. So that's just um, a detailed look. This is one final look at how sometimes these electrochemical cells or galvanic cells are displayed. Um, the double line indicates a salt bridge. Everything on the left is the oxidation. Everything on the right is the reduction. And these other single horizontal lines indicate different phases. So this zinc is in the solid phase. This zinc is in the um, aqueous phase, aqueous phase, solid phase. And we move from left to right, oxidation, reduction. So there's lots of different ways to look at the same thing. Um, you just need to know that the, the chemist will use this as a shorthand way, but what they're really thinking is what's going on there from the chemical point of view. Okay, so all these dashes, lines, numbers, letters, um, it's just a shorthand way, but the chemist is always thinking on the atomic scale and on the electron transfer what's really going on in solution.